Yes, hi. Uh, happy New Year. Uh, welcome to this channel. It's been a while since you've seen this uh, face. You know, I've, I haven't uh, posted for quite some time, but now I'm very back uh, with some very uh, great content. So uh, without wasting too much time, I, I want to assure you that whatever comes for this new year, I come with a package full of uh, great content, uh, which I'll be dropping from time to time. Today, I want to talk about how to do an RC staircase and I will be explaining, uh, you know, uh, procedurally uh, from uh, setting out uh, all the way to concreting. So stay tuned, it will be an informative video and I'm sure that you will enjoy it. I'm very sure that it will be worth your while. Okay. Uh, now, uh, we begin with setting out, uh, which is uh, usually uh, based on a uh, the, you know the floor to floor height uh, which determines uh, the number of steps that you will have you know for your staircase the design of the staircase will give you a uh, you know the number of landings and also the position of the landings that you have for your staircase now once the formwork has been done of course everything is ready the levels have been checked well and the, the, the number of risers have been determined uh, you will uh, start steel tying whereby you begin uh, with the beams uh, followed by the uh, slabs that is for the landings and the flights once the steel uh, has been done uh, of course uh, you will start on the formwork uh, but before formwork is done of course you have to ensure that all the services uh, required on this staircase have been taken care of and by this i mean electrical course conducting and also if you have any sleeves that you are supposed to provide for now on the formwork part you always check on the sizes of the risers and the treads uh, in which case uh, the most standard ones are 150 millimeters for the risers and 300 for the treads something else that you will always check on to confirm that it's okay and the levels for each and every element and by this i mean the uh, treads and also the landings because you know it always has to add up so that you get uh, the elevation up to the next uh, floor level um once everything has been done the former has been well supported and you are ready to concrete uh, the casting is done and once all of that is done you'll have an end product li that looks uh, like this so once you have concreted, you can see you have a staircase that has been formed which awaits a floor finish. And uh, the only job uh, you know that you remain with here uh, is you know to cure for at least 21 days whereby you can be able to strike off. But then now uh, the formwork for the treads or the risers, you know this one can be stricken off after two days. And then uh, you know you cure your staircase and that is it. 